Let us now learn the next multiplication technique which will help us to multiply any type of two two digit numbers. So far whatever methods or techniques that we have learned were all applicable only in some special cases. For example, the first one that we discussed, split and merge, is applicable only for simple numbers where splitting and merging is convenient. Similarly, a plus b into a minus b is applicable only for those numbers where the difference between the two numbers is even. And likewise, multiplication with 5, multiplication with 25, or multiplication of numbers close to 100, numbers close to 1000, or multiplication of numbers with 11 to 90. These are all special cases. But this particular technique that we are going to learn now is a general technique which will help us to multiply any type of two digit numbers. So let us take some examples to understand this. Let's say we have to multiply the numbers 89 and 64. As you can see here, splitting and merging will become a little difficult. So here it is better that we follow the general way of multiplication. Now if we try to go by the general method of multiplication, it will take a lot of time. Why? Because number of steps are more. For example, 4 into 9 is 36, then 4 into 8, 32 plus 3 is 35. Then we say 6 into 9 is 54, 5 is carry forward and 6 into 8 is 48, 48 plus 5 is 53. So the final answer here would be 6, 5 plus 4, 9, 6 and 5, that is 5, 6, 9, 6. So as you can see here, the answer is correct, but the method is lengthy. Why? Because it involves a lot of steps. So let us understand how to multiply two such numbers like 89 and 64 without writing these many steps on paper. Now the two numbers here are 89 and 64. Multiplication of these two numbers in this technique involves three steps. The first step is to multiply both the units places. Second step is cross multiplication of units places and tens places. And the third step is to multiply the tens places. Now in these three steps, we can directly write down the answer 5696 6, without writing all the intermediate steps. So let us see how to go ahead with this procedure. As I've mentioned, the first step here is to multiply the unit spaces. That is 9 into 4. 9 into 4 is 36. So we take 6 in the answer and 3 gets carried forward. The second step here is cross multiplication of units places and tens places. That means 8 should be multiplied with 4 and 6 has to be multiplied with 9 and their sum has to be obtained. So 8 into 4 is 32 and 6 into 9 is 54. So we need to add the products that we obtain in the second step. That is 8 into 4 32 plus 6 into 9 54. 32 plus 54 is 86. 86 and 3 is already carried forward. 86 plus 3 is 89. So we take 9 in the answer and now 8 is carried forward. And the last and the final step here is to multiply both the tens places. That is 8 into 6, 48. 48 plus 8 is 56. So the answer here will become 5696. So as you can compare with the general method here, the answer 5696 has been obtained without writing the intermediate part. So that is the advantage of multiplying two digit numbers in this technique. The three simple steps here are first multiply both the units places, second cross multiply the units places with tens places and the third step is multiplication of tens places. In each step we take only one digit in the answer and the other digit gets carried forward till we obtain the last step. So let us take a few more examples to understand this. Now one more example here is 67 into 92. So as you can see again split and merge will be a little difficult in such cases and any other special condition is not applicable. So let us see how can we get the answer for this question with this technique, the three step procedure that we have learned just now. You know that the first step is we have to multiply both the unit spaces that is 7 into 2 that is 14. So write 4 in the answer and 1 is carried forward. Second step is cross multiplication of units and tens places. So 6 into 2, 12, 9 into 7, 63. So 12 plus 63 is equal to 75. So what we get as a result in the second step is 75. But we also have 1 as carry here. 75 plus 1 is 76. So we take 6 in the answer and now 7 gets carried forward. And the last and final step here is multiplication of tens places. That is 6 into 9. 6 into 9 is 54. And 7 is the carry here. 54 plus 7 is 61. So we can say that the answer here is 6164. 
So as you see, the first step is multiplication of unit spaces. Second step here is cross multiplication. And the third step is multiplication of 10 spaces. So following the same technique, let us see what is the answer for 43 into 79. 3 into 9 is 27. So 7 is in the answer and 2 gets carried forward. Then 4 into 9, 36. 7 into 3, 21. So 36 plus 21 is 57. 57 and 2 here is 59. So 9 in the answer and 5 gets carried forward. And the last step is multiplication of 10 spaces. That is 4 into 7, 28. So 28 plus 5 here is 33. So we can say that the answer for this question here is 3397. So this is how we can multiply two digit numbers by following this three step procedure. The first step here is multiplication of unit spaces. So that's like vertical multiplication. Second step is cross multiplication of unit spaces and ten spaces. And the third and final step is multiplication of ten spaces. That is again a vertical multiplication. So in the first step, we do the vertical multiplication of unit spaces. Second step is cross multiplication of units and tens places. And third step again is a vertical multiplication of tens places. So this is what will give us the answer for multiplication of two two digit numbers. You can remember it as i x i from right to left. So first multiply unit spaces, then cross multiply and then go for tens place multiplication. So this is one method which is applicable for all types of two digit numbers. So whenever you have no idea of how to go ahead with the multiplication, simply apply this i x i technique and get the answer. All right, friends. So here I've got three examples for you all to solve. So get started and get the answers for these three questions. Your time starts now. Let us now see what are the correct answers for these three questions. Now the first one here is 67 into 82. 7 into 2 is 14. So we take 4 in the answer and 1 gets carried forward. 6 into 2, 12. 8 into 7, 56. 56 plus 12 is 68. 68 plus 1, 69. So 9 in the answer and 6 gets carried forward. And the last step here is 6 into 8, 48. 48 plus 6 is 54. So the final answer here should be 5494. Moving on to the next one, 48 into 73. The first step here is 8 into 3, that is 24. So 4 in the answer and 2 gets carried forward. Second step is cross multiplication. 4 into 3, 12. 7 into 8, 56. 56 plus 12 is 68. 68 plus 2 is 70. So 0 in the answer and 7 gets carried forward. And the last step here is 4 into 7, 28. 28 plus 7 is 35. So the final answer here is 3504. The last question here is 91 into 57. So the first step would be 1 into 7, 7. Second step is cross multiplication. 9 into 7 is 63 and 5 into 1 is 5. 63 plus 5 is 68. And as we have no carry, we can directly take 8 in the answer and now 6 is taken carried forward. The last step here is 9 into 5, 45. 45 plus 6 is 51. So the answer for this question here is 5187. So this is how quickly we can multiply two digit numbers if we follow this three step technique.